Hey everybody, this is Drew with Acoustic Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. Uh, I picked up a really nice set of tape toned quarters. I wanted to show you guys a few of them before I sent them off to PCGS or had them sold. Um, I do pretty good with these types of coins. They have a lot of history, a lot of cool backstories with them as well. So enjoy these coins. Hello everybody, I wanted to show you guys a few coins today. Uh, I'm probably going to be putting these in an Econ sub for PCGS. Um, just an interesting set of Washington quarters. So, I received, uh, I actually found a listing on Facebook of these quarters. Here's a 1954 uh, quarter. I think this one has the best shot at, an, at a nicer grade, maybe 66. Um, but the thing about these toned tape toned quarters is that they're actually pretty hard to find and the way that I guess the story with these coins I'm gonna actually go to the next one while we're talking but the story with these coins is that they were actually held inside an album with tape or they were actually held inside uh, held even sometimes in um, a roll with tape but uh, just very interesting character on these people actually like how uh, how the tape lines go. It's almost like a tape toning pattern. Um, I find that pretty interesting as well. This one's a little bit more terminal for my liking. But like I said, when you send it e econ, people are gonna, uh, you know, you're not gonna have too much in cost, but you're also gonna find someone that's gonna enjoy it and you'll be able to make a little bit money as a dealer. Um, let's show you. So I have a total of actually seven today, which is interesting. Um, I found them all in the same ad and I was like, you know what? I'm going to take a risk and buy these, and I didn't pay too much uh, per coin. Um, and people, like I said, really enjoy these, and so I couldn't pass this up. Um, I just love the originality of it. I love the, the story that it tells. Um, I think they're just beautiful, beautiful pieces. Um, and I do this stuff all the time because, I don't know, I just would like to fill an order. If I'm sending out coins, I'd like to send out a, a good amount, just to make sure the shipping costs are lower. And... Um, when I get them back, they're going to be much, uh, I don't know. I'm just going to be very excited to see that the true views on them, be able to market them better when they're in holders. We kind of discussed that in the past few videos. When you have a coin that's nice, um, that has been cleaned, that's in better condition, I would recommend sending it in if it has a, a shot of actually being worth something. Uh, I think these coins do just based on their toning pattern. Let me show you a few more of these beautiful things. Um, this one's kind of more interesting to me, just because of how dark it is. Yeah, it almost makes a statement how dark this coin is. And it has a little bit of rainbow touch above the head. Uh, not too many marks uh, on the coin, on the obverse. Uh, very, very, very clean. And when we flip it over, you're going to kind of see the same uh, principles that have been happening with all the other coins. You're going to start to see a little bit pop of more of a rainbow um, on the reverses. Um, this is an interesting coin. I just really, really, I keep saying really, really a lot, <laughs> but I enjoy this coin. It's really interesting. Now I'm going to show you this coin right here. So uh, when you can get a little bit more color on a coin, especially with tape toning, so every coin goes through um, a kind of color progression before it goes completely terminal. So before these were plucked out, um, they actually were uh, on the verge of being completely black, just like the previous coin I showed you. Uh, I like this rainbow kind of toning on the reverse, and uh, the luster is just really nice on all these coins as well. They were probably, as soon as they came out, the guy, they were whoever collected these coins, just took them and put them in his album or whatever, and they've toned nicely over the years. If they were pulled out a little bit earlier, the color progression would have been nicer, but that's okay, you know. Uh, they're still nice, and I think they're going to be preserved very well at PCGS. Let me show you guys just one more coin today. Here is another interesting one. So, uh, as you can see, these are all from the same year. I'm not sure how he had everything kind of put in. Maybe these were all in different separate albums. I'm not too sure. Held in the same place, maybe in his house or in a cellar. Um, but I like the the toning on this one, kind of because it has this rainbow running down the eagle, kind of splitting it. Um, and 
the thing about when you buy coins like this, I bought these for, I mean, I'm going to be honest, I bought these pretty cheap. And um, if you can find something that's has this originality to it and has this beauty to it, people will really, uh, I don't know, I really like it. I Like when I posted this on Instagram, many of these on Instagram, a whole bunch of people message me, hey, are these for sale? Hey, are these for sale? Um, they just know that there's a story behind them. Um, it's cooler when you can go through the full process of it and then um, sell these to like you know a new collector or people that actually make sets based on uh, if it has to uh, tape toning. Uh, there's a guy that I know that reached out to me. He said, "Hey, I collect tape toning stuff. Can I buy these from you?" Um, and so hopefully that deal goes through. Maybe he'll like to buy some from me, and I'll send the rest in. But uh, I really appreciate you guys watching this far and enjoying these tape toners with me. I appreciate you guys watching today's video. If you did learn something or you found a coin to be cool or you just enjoy the channel, I uh, recommend that you like the video, comment what you thought. Uh, was it a good video? What was your favorite part of it? And make sure to subscribe if you want to watch any more of my videos. Uh, they'll be in my link below. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you next time.